The Nigerian Defense Academy has reiterated its commitment to prioritize gender inclusivity in the leadership, physical and military training of its cadets within the Nigerian Armed Forces. This declaration was made during a lecture and the unveiling of a monument in honor of the late Major General Adirong Kekali, the first female Nigerian military officer and the first in West Africa to attain the rank of Major General in the Nigerian Army. Plus TV's correspondent Habila Durafai's report is presented from our studios. The historic event brought together top military officers, academia and other dignitaries to honor the blueprint and giant legacy of the late Major General Adirunke Kale. This served as a platform to discuss critical issues of gender equality within the armed forces, identify challenges and gaps due to gender barriers, and propose solutions to enable female counterparts to thrive in military careers. The recent introduction of the Gender Arm Policy in 2021 marks a progressive step towards addressing gender stereotypes and cultural barriers, aiming for affirmative action to increase female involvement in various military careers. Lady Captain Feishara Shulebo, the guest lecturer at the event, spoke on the impact of traditional roles on women's participation in the armed forces exploring gender stereotypes and cultural barriers. She highlighted significant challenges women face in the military and the achievements made urging the Nigerian Armed Forces to ensure equal recruitment and leadership opportunities for women in all spheres. Women's participation in the armed forces has been limited by traditional gender roles, stereotypes and cultural barriers that often limit their participation and advancement. The perception that women lack the necessary qualities or experience for these roles, coupled with cultural norms that discourage women from pursuing such authority, creates a pipeline problem. Fewer women at the top means fewer role models to inspire future generations and advocate for broader opportunities. This lack of diversity in leadership weakens the military by neglecting the talents, skills, and perspectives that women bring to the table. The Armed Forces of Nigeria needs to restructure the processes and procedures for recruitment and enlistment in order to promote gender equality by increasing the representation of women in all spheres of military service, including combat. The commandant of the Nigerian Defense Academy, Major General John Ochai, emphasized the importance of embracing diversity and gender inclusivity for national development, stating that any nation discriminating against women will remain underdeveloped without impact. Societies which present equal opportunities to both genders have making, made progress in all aspects of human endeavor. Societies that relegate and discriminate against gender are the backwaters of human civilization. Against the female gender, have the lowest quality of life. Nigerian society and the Nigerian nation guarantees equality on the basis of religion, gender, and ethnicity in our constitution. Major General Tilewa Amosu the second female officer to attain the rank of Major General and to command the Nigerian Army Medical Corps, stressed the need to emphasize and overcome gender stereotypes and cultural barriers to ensure equal opportunities for all. She called on her female counterparts to strive to fulfill their military careers. And with the increasing enlistment and commissioning of women, their participation in more leadership roles makes it imperative that they are nurtured to successfully fill these roles. As we continue to strive to successful gender mainstreaming, the peculiarities of being a woman in uniform cannot be, cannot be ignored. As soldiers, we would walk alongside, and sometimes we would need to compete with the men in order to show your capability and to progress in your careers. But with the current opportunities and training that is open to you, you definitely have the potential to occupy important positions 
in the previously assumed rural areas. There's no barrier to reaching the peak in the career of the armed forces of uh, Nigeria. Uh, not gender, not ethnicity, not race or religion uh, stops anyone from attaining to the highest rank. And that's the message we are, say, we are sending. The Nigerian Defense Academy conforms with the constitutional provision that guarantees equality, diversity, and inclusiveness for all Nigerians, irrespective of gender, race, or religion. We are sending a strong message for equal uh, gender participation. The armed forces have a plethora of set skills that women can equally participate, even in combat operations. The event also featured the unveiling of a monument and the commissioning of cadets' ladies' lines dedicated to the memory of the late Major General Adirunke Kale, recognizing a pioneering achievement and enduring legacy to inspire other female military officers and soldiers to reach the apex of their military careers. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.